everyone gets taxed. It's a burden on you and your wage, and just your wealth in general. But why are we taxed, where does it go and how is it decided how much you pay? Well, in this video, I'm going to go through the basics of each of these questions. First things first. The HMRC is His Majesty's Revenue and Customs. They are the UK Tax Authority. And they are the people that take care of tax for the whole country. There are all types of taxes, there is VAT, national insurance, corporation tax, inheritance tax, it just goes on. But why do we pay tax? Well, the money goes towards the government, and government need money to run the country. It's common to hear that something is being paid for with taxpayers' money. So what does that mean? It means that the government use the money for things like welfare, healthcare, education, the military, public transportation, and national debt. Almost all countries are in debt to one another, it's just the way that international economy works, and your money goes towards paying off the accumulated debt and its interest. There are also loads of different little categories where your money goes. The distribution varies each year in the annual budget. So how do you actually get taxed? In this video, I'm just going to focus on income tax, and more specifically, PAYE, which is pay as you earn. Income tax happens automatically, we don't physically have to go out of our way to pay it every year, month or when whenever your employer pays you. As your tax is automatically deducted by your employer and paid for you. This is deducted along with other payments such as national insurance contributions, pensions or student loans, if you have any, from your gross income. That is your income before any deductions are made. Your net income is what is deposited into your bank account. Back to tax. Everyone has a tax code. It's this tax code that indicates to your employer how much tax you should pay. Tax codes differ with how much you're earning, and how much tax-free income you have. You are sent your tax code every year and it is usually on your pay slip. In the UK, you have a tax-free income of £12,500 per year. That is the first threshold, so if you earn below that you do not get taxed, you pay 0%. The next threshold is from £12,501 to £50,000, where you get taxed 20% and then 40% from £50,001 to £150,000 per year. And then 45% in anything you earn over £150,001. And this is where most people get confused. I certainly was. When I first heard this, I was like, why would you want to earn more than £12,500 a year? Why would you want to earn like 15,000 and pay 20% tax which is 300 pounds and mean you are taking home less than someone on 12,500 per year? Well, that's not the case. And here's why. The 20% tax is actually on every pound that is above 12,500. Then 40% on every pound above 50,000. And 45% on every pound above 150,000. This means if you earn let's say £20,000 in a year, then you pay 0% tax on the first £12,500. Then 20% on the remaining £7,500. That means if you earn £20,000 a year, the amount of tax you're paying is only £1,500 a year, not £4,000. Let's look at another example. If you earn £52,000, then you pay 0% on the first £12,500 then 20% on the next £37,500. And then 40% only on the last £2,000. Which is a total of £8,300 a year, or £691.66 per month. So to reiterate for every pound you earn above the threshold is what you get taxed on, not the whole thing. If you work in the UK, and you earn less than £12,500, you might still see tax deducted on your pay slips. But do not worry, you will get this back at the end of the tax year, which is in April, as tax returns. Even if you're on a taxable income, you could still get tax return at the end of the tax year, because you've paid too much tax throughout the last financial year. 
Let's move on to talk about the other deduction that everyone has from their salary. National insurance. NI contributions, NICs, help to fund certain social security benefits and the UK state pension and, in part, are also used to support the NHS. Not only is it a legal obligation but, from an individual's perspective, it is important to pay NICs because it provides the right to receive certain important social security benefits, including the state pension in retirement and, where relevant, maternity allowance. According to the Institute for Fiscal Studies, IFS, NICs are the UK's second largest tax, after income tax. In 2022 they were expected to raise nearly £150 billion, equal to about a fifth of all the UK's annual tax revenue. Employees who are paid through a pay-as-you-earn system have their contributions deducted automatically. NICs are applied to each pay period, whether that's weekly, monthly or a different frequency altogether. This is then topped up by your employer. This top-up doesn't come out of your wages and is paid directly by your employer to HMRC. You pay mandatory national insurance if you are 16 or over and are either an employee earning above £242 a week or self-employed and making a profit of £6,725 or more a year. Remember this is profit not revenue. You can also pay voluntary contributions to avoid gaps in your NI contributions. You need a national insurance number before you can start paying contributions. You will normally get sent your national insurance number automatically about three months before your 16th birthday. If you don't get it by the time you turn 16 you need to contact the HMRC or you can apply online. You will need to remember this number, as you will need to put it on any paperwork required for you to get paid. So what are the thresholds of how much you pay? If you earn under £123 per week then you are considered as not paying any contributions. However if you earn between £123 and £242 a week, your contributions are treated as having been paid, to protect your national insurance record, even though you are not actually paying anything. However your employer will start paying contributions for you once you are earning £175 per week. The first bracket where deductions will be taken from your gross salary is £242 per week or £12,570 per year and goes up to £967 per week or £50,284 per year. At this point you will be paying at a rate of 12%. That is 12% of your gross income which is spread over the year depending on the frequency of your pay. Anything you earn above this you will pay a further 2% on these earnings. So if we use the same example as before with taxation, of earning £52,000 per year it would mean that. You would not pay anything on the first £12,570 of your salary. You would pay 12% on the next £37,714 which is £4,525.68. And And you would pay 2% on the last £1,716, which works out at £34.32. So in total your contribution would be £4,560. If you are paid monthly this means your contribution would be £380 per month or £95 per week. This may seem like a lot of money is being taken from your salary, but because you never actually receive the money, you don't really notice it. But it is important that you understand the basics of how this all works so that you can check your employer is paying the correct amount.